Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I gotta talk. I gotta talk. <laughs> and I genuinely, here let me take off my glasses. I, so we don't have the little ring light shining off my face. I genuinely want your guys' opinion on this. So I just went out to do some of the things that I have not been able to take care of, you know, just errand wise. I had to go to the post office. I had to gas up my car, you know, these sorts of things. And I go by a couple of schools on the way to do those things. And the schools were empty. They closed the schools. Now, as soon as they started closing the schools, what I did was I went on my own personal social media and I said, mark my words, those kids are going to be at the parks. They're going to be at the movies. They're going to be, you know, just at all the attractions. Mark my words. The schools were empty. Packs of kids. Now this is also weird because I've never seen packs of children around unless they're on a school trip or something out on the streets at the parks. One of the gas stations that I go to because it has the Good King Super discount thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and a car wash so that I like. I like the car wash over there. So I went over there and I had to go buy Garden of the Gods. Tons of traffic going through, you know, because the road you can kind of see down into the Garden of the Gods. Again, packs of kids within inches of one another interacting with each other. I thought the whole point was one, social distancing, and two, to shut down the schools to keep the kids safe and their parents and their grandparents safe as well. What is your opinion on that? I was just like, what are y'all doing? Now, I am not about panicking. I'm not about any of that. And if there were a family out there that was like, well, we have our two kids, Garden of the Gods is open air, we're keeping social distancing in mind, cool. Go live your life. Who knows? Pretty soon they might be shutting down Garden of the Gods and then we won't get to enjoy it. I'm going to talk about that here in just a moment. But that's not what I saw. <laughs> that's not what I saw. I saw like clusters of kids really, really close to one another. And, and the tourism has not slowed down. And you might say, well, that's good for your economy. Meh. Uh, not really, because a lot of our attractions around here, like the Garden of the Gods, are free to the public. And a lot of the things around here, they're free attractions. So our tax dollars, <laughs> here's the ramp part of this, our tax dollars are, you know, helping to pay for things in this town. And yet we can't go and enjoy them. So basically what's happening, and I am coming from a very selfish place right now, I admit, but I am someone that needs to take care of my stress levels right now as well. And part of that is being able to go out and enjoy the beauty of my town. That's why I live here, right? Um, that's why I live and work in this town and again, contribute through my taxes. Um, and I can't get anywhere. And it was like, everyone's just driving crazy. I literally had someone almost hit me just, just a few minutes ago. Almost hit me because I had a green light and he ran the red light. And weirdly, I'm not even shook about it. I'm just more annoyed. I'm like, what, what, what? <laughs> pay attention, you know, uh, kind of thing. So I know people are very distracted right now, but I'm also seeing questionable judgment. And again, going back to the whole selfish part of it, it's like spring break times three right now. It is spring break times three. And this town is also very family oriented, which you might say, oh, that's so lovely. It can be until everything is taken over and you can't enjoy it, right? So not that I was going to the Garden of the Gods to like hike or anything. I'm taking this very seriously, but I just, that just stunned me. So if you are with the Colorado Springs city government or the school board or whoever made the decision to close the schools, I know this is unprecedented. I know this is all a big experiment, but I want to just offer this part of the perspective. It didn't work. It didn't work. There was no point in closing the schools unless you had to deep clean them or something like that. But these kids are congregating and they're in each other's faces anyway. Even if you want to make the argument, oh, it's open air. I don't want to hear it. I saw what I saw. Groups of 10 kids. What, why would that be happening? Why are they hanging out in groups of 10? Like, I don't, like all over the place. Just thought I would offer that. I don't know. 
I don't even know what to say to this. I just, <laughs> I do know what to say to this. We aren't going to die of any sort of disease. We're going to die of stupidity. Okay. And people and their pendulum thinking, oh my gosh. Okay. Like, Yes, take it seriously. Yes, live your life, but be considerate and uh, conscientious about what what we're up against here. So I, what I'm getting at here is there's this dichotomous response where it's like people are super panicking and wiping the shelves clean so that, you know, nothing, nobody else can get what they need. Or we have people not taking it seriously at all and just letting their kids go and be in contact with one another. At the post office, there was no social distancing. There was a line and people were still right up on each other. Some of the older people were hanging back and kind of giving other people looks like, okay, seriously, you know, because that area where my, where the post office is that I go to, there are a lot of assisted living facilities around there. And I think there's even a, I don't know if that one, sorry, that was my glasses. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a nursing home over there or what the deal is, but we do have a lot of senior citizens that use that post office and I don't, I don't get it. I'm watching, I'm processing, I'm waiting for some messaging and I'll give you this. Okay. This is not going to be the last thing that we deal with. All right. There's going to be more of this. I don't think that the shelves are going to be able to get stocked fast enough. Does that mean that you should panic? No, you should just uh, be middle of the road here and keep your wits about you and don't not take it seriously and don't overcorrect. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I just want to, you know, I love connecting with you guys. So I just want to make this quick video. Um, my intention was throughout all of this to go live on YouTube. YouTube makes it really hard now to go live. Um, yes, you have to set up an encoder to be able to stream. Um, I'm not stupid with that stuff and I, it's not working. And I honestly, I don't have time to mess with it. So <laughs> maybe I'll do more of these kinds of things and then I can just premiere and we can do live chat. All right. So I'm going to, the, the bright part of my day is that I got a subscription box, the Feeling Fab box, which I'm going to do an unboxing of in the next video. And honestly, what has kept me from having to go to the store for a few things were the subscription boxes that I get. Now that's not saying, hey, go run it out and buy a sub uh, subscription box if that's not your thing. But <laughs> a lot of them usually come with things like, not right now, I haven't opened this one yet, so I don't know what's in there. But in the past, they've come with hand sanitizer, they've come with soap, they've come with um, like supplement drops and things like that. What is that? I got a fuzzy attacking me <laughs> off my sweater. But yeah, I mean, again, I don't know what's in this particular one, but I'm just saying subscription boxes on the whole, I'm pretty well stocked with soap and shampoo and toothpaste and stuff like that, that is coming off the shelves right now. So anyway, I was just, you know, I just want to share. <laughs> I just want to share. And I think observing is a really important part of what we're doing here. Seeing what's working, what's not working. Sound off down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And catch me on my unboxing, okay? <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye.